What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get both two maps and how to get all the warp zones on both of them. So, today we're just going to be starting out with the basic map. Uh, the house map, uh, which takes you back to your house in Sneaky Sasquatch. It'll teleport you right about here. Now, to get that, you just have to buy the map in the raccoon shop for uh, five coins. So, not too much of a problem. Then over in the city, you have to pay rent for an apartment. Uh, so you have to go into the apartment and pay rent for the apartment. Uh, which can kind of be annoying, but it is kind of nice to have a teleportation to the city. As it's just kind of not too fun to drive there, but it is a waste of money. Next, we're going to be taking a look at the racetrack. You can get to teleport to the racetrack after donating 10,000 coins to build this little house for the cone, or the, what was his name, driving instructor. And then there was a bed for him and there's a bed for you so you can sleep here and teleport here, which is kind of cool, I guess. Then the ski mountains, uh, it's a little bit up though from the regular area. You need to fix it up for 10,000 coins and then you get a bed and chair and yeah, that's it, and then you can teleport, and you have some nice hot springs right in front. Next, we're going to be going to the island, as you can see. And if you really had a lot of time to waste, you can see I waste a bunch of time. Island, you have to complete all the surf challenges, and you'll then get a bed in here, which you can teleport to, where I guess this uh, surf track. And then this little private island, as you might be seeing, this you can get by simply discovering it and then fixing it up and then you can teleport here i don't really know why you can teleport here but i guess it's kind of cool you know like collect your money that you got from the island and yeah i guess that's kind of cool i know that much, but that's what i've been telling anyways the last warp zone is the fishing shack i guess you could say you need to catch all the saltwater fish here uh as the saltwater fisher will eventually move in with the freshwater fisher by the lake and he, he'll leave you his house. So I guess that's kind of cool. I really never use this warp zone. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, just kind of teleport you to the marina. Anyways, as you might have seen uh, in some photos, you could teleport to the golf course. Because, you know, it, it just makes sense. Like, you can teleport to the ski resort, the racetrack, and you know, those are, and the golf course, those are, those are three essentials, right? But no, unfortunately, you can't teleport to the golf course, or at least there's no known way, I guess you could say. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty simple, yeah, you know, it's how to get to, and then, yeah, just teleport to you, right in front of this little, uh, thing. Oh, Chester, what the? Yeah. yeah guys if you enjoyed make sure you drop a like and subscribe uh would be great because you know we're, we're trying to get to 500 subscribers and then thousand and then it was we got a lot of people, so yeah if you could please subscribe you know i'm trying to go back with the daily content coming up with some more ideas and oh we're tired now okay well yeah guys if you enjoyed make sure you drop a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video